You came to uh, Rocio. You came to our, our Argentina, basically, as well. Um, but you're a writer as well. You're a writer, and also you want to start a new career acting, correct? Acting and modeling. But and you came uh, with some friends, correct? So tell me about uh, which place did you stay in America? Um, I say my first time was here in Bell. <laughs> And then in the because afterward we have mm -hmm. a month mm -hmm. to travel around. Mm -hmm. So we've been in LA, Santa Monica, San Francisco, mm -hmm. we've been to New York and finally mm -hmm. we went to Miami. Miami. Yeah. And in which 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 part of Miami? South Beach. South Beach. Good. And uh, But that was that was my first time here in America. Mm -hmm. Like nice. four years ago. And what you what you love most about South Beach in, in Miami? I love the beach. Florida. Sorry, it's Florida. Correct. Yeah, I the love beach. the beach. Nice. I'm a warm person. I have mm -hmm. a warm personality. Nice. I don't like the cold. I it's know. sarcastic because I'm here in Bell. Mm -hmm. That Correct. most of the time, all the people that came here is because they love the mountains. They love uh, snow. Uh, But I always want to try different things. Different things. And Yeah, I thought Perfect. I can oh, try. Oh, and the other, uh, me, uh, you, well, you like modeling, acting, plus you are a writer. What kind of subject do you write? What kind of stories? Um, the thing is, I'm very sensible, mm -hmm. and sometimes I can feel it, what mm -hmm. it's going to be in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that is for my life. Correct. So I think I going, or I have the feeling about... Mm -hmm. And so, like three months, four months later, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I take all my writes, yeah. writings, and writings? I can see like so it's more yeah. like you like drama, basically, like drama writing. I mean, it's real life for people, correct? Yeah. Drama. Yeah. Uh -huh. And sometimes you pick up friends and make it a story. That's cool. Like kind of drama, what we call. Yeah. No. So. Um, What's your next challenge? Uh, because you study administration in Argen Argentina, yeah. correct? Business administration. So, so, so also you would like to, and this is what you love to. You like administration, I or just like. do you love to be an administrator, like administrate companies? Like, because you graduate in Argentina. Correct? Yeah, I graduated in Argentina. But the thing is, I didn't have the experience yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because when I graduate. Mm -hmm. My next challenge was I want to work in a big company, like multinational Correct. company, mm -hmm. and I did. I could work in PepsiCo. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have to say that. Yeah, that's But okay. But I think it's a big company, yeah. and, and it's going to be around fun. the world. Okay. You have that company around the world. Mm -hmm. So I got a job, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, I was, mm -hmm. my expecting was more, mm -hmm. and I couldn't learn enough there. So mm -hmm. I quit. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I quit because I thought I cannot grow up here, mm -hmm. I cannot learn anything, mm -hmm. all my co-workers, wow. they weren't professional, and they, they, were, were, they believed wow. that I was silly or, oh, she's the cute girl. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but, but you have a, but they must accept that 
you finish your career. So that was that's remarkable. Knowledge is power, correct? So, exactly. Yeah, knowledge is power. Knowledge it doesn't power. matter the age. If you finish your career, uh, teaching of languages or whatever in your case, yeah. um, um, that's true. Uh, it's normal. And that yeah, was kind I... of a jealous situation, correct? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah. The world, the world yeah. is big. Yeah, it's a big challenge. There is more than this mm -hmm. company mm -hmm. in your city. Mm -hmm. So correct. I went for myself, I quit the job, and I had the opportunity <laughs> again to come here. Amazing. And we're rolling whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, welcome everyone, my name is Eric Stahl, Entertainment Spot Live, and today we have Kelly Del Toro, and she's going to talk about her restaurants, uh, all of her family that manage um, Mexican food. Tell us about Casa Mexico. Where is located uh, your restaurant from Casa Mexico? Uh, one in Eagle, in Winter Park, in, in Westville. Yes. What kind of food do you guys like serve in uh, Westville, in Casa Mexico? The most popular plate is the molcajete campechano. It's a bowl, hot bowl, with uh, grilled steak and grilled chicken, shrimps. It's um, for one or for two people. It's really good. I recommend that. It's pretty cool. Yes. And you guys is having like 
it's the fourth year. It's coming an anniversary in November, correct? So you're yes. gonna make mariachi, like everything. Mariachi, right? margaritas, two for one. Yes. Okay. What kind of uh, you recommend for, like, especially in this uh, ski season in winter? What you recommend to all tourists that came to the valley to eat, like Mexican food? What kind of Mexican food? Seafood, maybe in La Parrillada. La Parrillada, yes. Parrillada, Casa México. Casa Mexico. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Especially, I love the Parrillada from Casa México. They give you a big uh, tray with a uh, chicken, beef, whatever you want, shrimp, and vegetables, and a lot of cheese. This is good. Like a kind of nachos, but the Mexican way, correct? <laughs> so that's what it's called. And this Casa Mexico Eagle, correct? Eagle, yes, sir. And in West Bell? West Bell. And the other one is in? Winter Park. Winter Park. So you guys open all the week? Yes, all week, every day. That's good. I'm talking about your uh, your brother. What's the name of your brother? Jesus del Toro. Jesus del Toro. Yes. Jesus del Toro and Kelly del Toro. <laughs> but it's an amazing chef because he started like so young uh, cooking and everything, correct? Like, Sí, Para nuestros amigos que nos ven en otros países como México, Guatemala, Argentina o países hispanos, también vamos a hablar español. Ella es Kelly del Toro y eh, toda su familia son ellos manejan, son dueños de los restaurantes Casa México. Sí, sí. Y en noviembre es el aniversario, ¿verdad? Hay un aniversario eh, de cuatro años, ¿no? Que abrieron. Sí, el próximo aniversario, nuestro cuarto año es uh, en noviembre, próximamente y ya vamos a tener mariachi también. Qué padre. ¿no? Sí. Especialmente estás comiendo tu comida mexicana y el mariachi llega y sí. a lo mejor estás con la novia, le vas, te vas a declarar, ¿no? Para, y llega el mariachi ahí, sí. ¿tú puedes pedir una canción? Sí, pueden pedir canciones. Sí. Háblanos de la parrillada, de la parrilla, lo que sirve, ¿cómo es eh, que lleva? Okay. La parrillada es oh, una variedad de carnes a la parrilla, vaya, y... Va acompañado también con dos ice de arroz y frijol, es una porción bastante grande para tres o cuatro personas, lo piden mucho las familias y es algo que te deja muy buen sabor de boca, es un platillo muy popular. Aquí estamos con Kelly del Toro y mi nombre es Eric Gestal, vamos a seguir con uh, Entertainment Spotlight. Ahí vamos. Oh,